Hi, I'm Michelle. I don't know how to time myself with voiceovers, so here is a quick summer makeup tutorial that lasts through the heat. I'm starting with Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I prepped before this with skincare and sunscreen, which is important in the summer. And then I'm putting the primer all over my face, and you can watch me turn into a tomato as I do this. Following the primer, I don't use foundation in the summer because of temperature and discomfort. So I just mix two Tarte Shape Tape concealers. My regular shade is 16N Fair Light Neutral, but because it's the summer and I have a little bit of uh, tan, I mix a tiny bit of 35N Medium into that. And then I take a little concealer brush and I just mix those together. So I'll put that on the places where I'm the most red, like around my nose, on my chin, the apples of my cheeks, on my actual nose and my forehead. I'll also spot conceal any part that I don't cover completely with concealer. Then I just blend everything with a little concealer brush from Sephora. I blend in sections because the concealer dries pretty quickly and I don't want to have it set before I can blend. When I blend out any concealer that's spot concealing, I keep a really light pressure when I blend it, but then I try, I just try to tap the concealer, but then blend around the spot that I'm trying to cover so that the most coverage stays on top of the spot. Then I just take the concealer that's on my cheeks. I also blend it up into the area under my eyes and in the inner corners. Then I also cover my forehead with concealer. Next for blush, I use the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Strawberry Drip. And I'll put that mostly on the apples of my cheeks and I blend it back into my cheekbones and also drag it over top of my nose so that it kind of looks like I spent some time in the sun. A good powder for the summer is the one size translucent powder. It's pretty thick, so you could use it to bake, but I don't really bake that often unless I'm doing a full face of foundation. So I'll just set the areas where I put that concealer, but not setting over top of the blush too much because it is glowy on its own. Then for bronzer, I use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed Bronzer. And I just lightly go over the blush area of my face as well as over my nose and on my forehead so that I can trick people into thinking it's not as big as it is. I also just put some under my chin. Then for highlight, I use the MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette. In the summer, I tend to dip into the middle shade and the more golden shade, and then I place that on top of my cheekbones, into my eyebrow, which I learned from Katie Hodges, on top of the brow, onto the forehead, as well as down the center of the nose and on my cupid's bow and the inner corners of my eyes. This palette is particularly good for lighter skin tones. They do have other options for deeper ones though. And this palette has lasted me years and years. I love it so much. Then for setting sprays, I mix the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist spray with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Another really, really good setting spray for summer is the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I just don't have it. And why not put some highlight on your collarbones if they're gonna be out and about during the summer, right? For my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. And I have to go very light with this now because I recently got my hair lightened. So I just dip my little brush into the jar and dab off any excess. And then I very lightly fill in the brow by drawing individual brow hairs wherever the brow needs it. So anywhere that is a little bit sparse, I just draw in a few hairs. And then to soften everything, brushing through the brow helps. I like pencils too, but pomade tends to last longer. And so in the summer, I like using the pomade. Then I started to think that they looked a little bit dark with my hair color, so what I ended up doing was going back in with that concealer brush I used to mix my concealer, just to clean everything up. Then I follow with brow gel. I use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter in clear, and this stuff holds your brows down. It doesn't move. I find it doesn't get crusty, so it's one of the best brow gels I've ever, ever used. 
In the summer, sometimes I'll add some freckles. I'll just use freck to do that. And I know that it's a liquid going on top of an already set face, but the trick when using a liquid on top of powder is to work in very small sections and blend as you go. So what I end up doing is tapping on a few freckles and then blending right away so that the freckles don't dry down too dark and everything looks much more natural that way. This is a simple look, so all I'm doing for eyes is mascara. So I'm just curling my lashes with a Tweezerman lash curler. And you can see me fighting not to make the ugly I'm curling my lashes face. For mascara, I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, but the trick is using waterproof mascara because in the summer, the waterproof mascara just holds the curl better. And I find that it ends up lasting me all day long and I've always had trouble with keeping my lashes curled. So this mascara really, really works to hold the curl. Then I'll just brush through my lashes with a clean spoolie just so that there's no clumps because I hate clumps. And lastly, for lips, what I'll use as a color pop, a just a tint lip crayon in the color City of Stars. And I'll put that on my lips and blend it out. And typically I'll follow with a lip balm because my lips are always dry. Then since I used setting spray, I'll lightly just go over the areas where I get oily with leftover powder from the cap of the one size jar. So that's it. It's a really quick and easy makeup look that lasts in the summer. Uh, because of the products that I use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and since I can't tie myself, goodbye!